another day in the life of a spine surgeon. I'm heading to Philadelphia this time to do a lab for the spinal robot. This is kind of the latest and greatest in technology in the field of spine surgery. And I wanted to bring it to my practice uh, for my patients. And I'm just going out there for a day or so, leaving today, coming back tomorrow, late tomorrow night. I have a surgery the uh, following day, but uh, you guys will get to hang out with me in Philly for a day. Hope you guys enjoy it. So it is around 7 a.m. Um, I am about to head downstairs and head to the lab facility where we will be doing the training for the robot. Um, got in really late last night, so I just crashed, and uh, it felt really good to kind of sleep in this morning. Normally, I've been waking up around 4.44 every day. If you haven't seen the reason why and um, kind of that video, I'll put it right here. But uh, yeah, it felt really good to uh, kind of sleep in. And normally during these courses that I go to and travel to, uh, we usually have early starts, like 6 a.m., like uh, sometimes 6.30 a.m. But uh, today doesn't start until like 9 or something. So it, it was really good to hear that, especially after getting here pretty late. I think I got to the room around 11 p.m. So, but uh, today is just uh, going into the lab, cadaver lab and um, working on the cadaver, uh, doing certain spinal positions, doing the surgery from the lateral position with the patients on their side and I can approach their spine. And then kind of the tradi traditional kind of posterior approach, uh, we'll be using the uh, spinal robot. And I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit and about um, why I think it's kind of the future that along with some some other things that are kind of uh, latest and greatest in spine surgery. And like I mentioned, I just want to be able to bring these things to my patients to deliver better care and safer care. So uh, the training never ends, you know, uh, out in practice and still going through these labs. If you've been following me along for the last few years, you'll see that I've been to a lot of these trainings and will continue to go to a lot more throughout my career. That's one of the things about being a surgeon, but you guys will check some of it out today. See you soon. Before going into the lab, I was able to check out this little cool little shoe cover device that I wish all hospitals had. The only problem was that my feet were too big and they kept getting caught. Nonetheless, we made it into the lab. We put on our gear to start the day. They have lots of cool instruments and tools here that we use in surgery. And this is an intraoperative O-arm that allows us to get CT scan images of the patient while they're asleep. You can see these images on the screen here as we're scrolling through the patient's CAT scan of their pelvis. These images are then transferred onto the robotic surgical system. And then we can plan the trajectory of our screws and instrumentation. Here I am planning out where exactly where I want the screws to go, what diameter, and what length of the screws. So even before starting any type of surgery, the robot will know exactly what I want to do and assist me as a surgeon in completing the operation. Cool, right? Yeah. 